strongly. Nick Hine did that well, gets the kick away, and a strong mark going back with the flight of the ball taken by John Butcher. Well, Butcher will take a shot after the siren here. I mean, a known goal kicker, kick seven for the Gippsland Power in a win against Bendigo in the TAC Cup a little earlier this season. His dad, Wayne, was a 300 gamer at Mafra and a 20 year coach with the club as well. Coming off two goals against South Australia on the weekend, 17 year old John Butcher comes in after the siren to give Vic Country their highest scoring first quarter of the carnival. He makes no mistake. Well, that's a tremendous finish. Subterfuge goes on between the AFL clubs. How many secrets do you try and keep from the others? <laughs> well, plenty, I imagine. As I said, I mean, I, I haven't really been involved in the recruiting side of things. It's probably been working on the young fellas when they come into the club. But, um, no, look, I do know that Decker has his door locked more often than the coaches, uh, <laughs> making sure that uh, that people don't come in and out and look at magnets in certain spots just to... Uh, now, that's within our club, so I could only imagine that would be uh, exacerbated to another level amongst the clubs uh, you know we're pretty keen to make sure we get the picks uh, fall the way we want them to well good goal there from john butcher as vic country extend their lead thanks very much for your time alan we'll get you back to uh... through them on the list and maybe a chance to get on your senior list then so we saw uh, scott reed in the previous game who could have won that game but lost the last kick and then against new south wales just went to sleep for a quarter and a half this is ryan mckenzie running onto the loose ball and coming up with his second goal of the game Punched away well by Adrian Williams towards the boundary line. This is Page up inside the 50 and a nice mark. Has been taken by John Butcher again. He's going to go back and line it up. Yeah, when they get the football in there quickly and Butcher's won out, he, he's got a great ability, he fights for front position and uh, a good set of hands. So should kick this, John. Generally a, a very accurate kick at goal. So Butcher coming in. He's on a bit of an angle, but he'll kick this one from 40 metres. The umpire runs to his right. It always works, point. doesn't it? It does. Loads from 55. They'll contest at the goal front. Getting back, Butcher. Well, that was impressive. John Butcher. 17-year-old. Kicked four goals against New South Wales earlier in the carnival. And then two against the SA on the weekend. Comes in now from point blank range, looking for his third of the day. Gave the goal umpire some work to do at its full points, and Victoria Country open up a 45 point lead as we head toward three quarter time. Here's Heath, and centering ball good for Butcher. Been yeah, very disciplined, uh, very disciplined this uh, in this passage of probably last 10 minutes. Vic Country, their forward pressure tremendous there, but once again, it was the ability not to blaze away, look to put it at the top of the square. And John Butcher is uh, looking extremely dangerous at this point in time in the game. So Butcher has kicked three goals, one, and fairly simple kick for him. Comes in from 40 meters and puts it through. He's got four goals. And Big Country out to a 51 point. He got his boot the ball inside the 50. McKenzie launches and gave away the free kick in the ball. Oh, no, it's going to be a free kick to Vic Country. And it's against Garnham, so a shot at goal from 40 out directly in front. Didn't, uh, didn't like the decision, Garnham, but uh, He didn't say too much to the umpire, so it'll be a free kick to Vic Country. It's going to go the way of Butcher with a rip jumper. Who's kicked four goals, one. 45 out, directly in front. It's good. He's got five. Yeah, once again, it highlights uh, and playing in defence for a lot of...